Does it not, thinkest thee, standing now upon he that hath killed my kin and whored my mother, popped them between the election and my hopes, thrown at his angle for my proper life, and with such cutlers? It is not perfect conscience to quit them with this arm. And is it not to be damned to let this canker of our nature come again in further evil? Will not be shortly known to him what is, what is the issue in England there? It will be short. The interim is mine and a man's life no more than to say one. But I am very sorry, good Horatio, that to Laertes I did forget myself. For by the image of my cause to see the portraiture of his. I will quote his favours. But sure, the bravery of his grief to throw me into towering passion. Peace. Who comes here? I mean, my lord, for his weapon. What's his weapon? Rapier and dagger. That's two of his weapons, but well. His majesty, sir, has wagered with him six Barbary horses, against which he has informed, as I take it, six French rapiers and poignards, with their assizes hung at girdles. And so, his Majesty, sir, hath laid that in a dozen passes between yourself and him, he shall not exceed you three hits. He hath laid on twelve for nine. And it shall come to immediate pass if your lordship would vouchsafe an answer. Or if I answer, no. Oh. I mean, my lord, the opposition of your person in trial. Sir, I will walk here in this hall. If it pleases his majesty, because the breathing time of day with me, let the way pierce be brought the gentleman willing the king hold his purpose. I will whimper him if I can. If not, I will gain nothing but my shame and the odd uh, I commend my duty to your lordship. Yours, yours. He does well to commend it himself, there's no tongues else for his turn. He did comply with his dunk before he sucked it. Thus is he and many more of the same bevy that I know the dress he dotes on. Only got the tune of the time and outward habit of encounter. A kind of yeasty collection that carries them through the most fond and winded opinions. And do but blow them to their trial. The bubbles are out. My lord, his majesty sends to know if your pleasure holds play with Laertes, or that you will take a longer time. I am conscious for my purposes. They follow the king's pleasure. If it's fit to speak, mine is ready now or when so ever, providing I be so able, isn't it? You will lose this wager, my lord. I do not think so, I will win at the odds. But I would not think how ills all here about my heart. But it is no matter. Nay, good my lord. It is but foolery. But it is such a kind of gain giving as would perhaps trouble a woman. If your mind dislike anything, obey it. I will forestall the affair of it and say you're not fit. Not a wit. We defy augury. There's a special providence in the fall of a sparrow. If it be now, it is not to come. If it be not to come, it will be now. If it be not now, yet it will come. The readiness is all. Since no man has aught of what he leaves, what is to leave betimes? Let be. Come, Hamlet, come, and take this hand from me. Give me a pardon, sir. I have done you wrong. The pardon is you're a gentleman. This presence knows, and you must needs have heard how I am punished with a sore distraction. What I have done that might your nature honour and accept is roughly a week, I hereby proclaim with madness. Was Hamlet wrong, Laertes? Never Hamlet. If Hamlet from himself be taken away and when he is not himself, wrongs Laertes. Hamlet does it not. Hamlet denies it. Who does it then? It's madness. <laughs> If it be so, Hamlet is of the faction that is wronged. His madness is poor Hamlet's enemy. Sir, in this audience, let my discerning from a purpose evil free me so far in your most generous thoughts that I have shot my arrow o'er the house and hurt my brother. I'm satisfied in nature, whose motive in this case should stir me most towards revenge. But in my honour I remain aloof, and will no reconcilement make till by some noble elders of known order I hear a voice and press into peace to keep my name on gore. Until that time I do receive your love like love, and will not wrong. I embrace it feeling, and will this brother's wager frankly play? Give us a rapier, come on. And one for me. Cousin Hamlet, do you know the wager? Very well, my lord. You basically the odds of the weaker side. I do not fear it. I have seen you both, but since he is better, we have therefore odds. Set me stoops of wine upon that table. 
If Hamlet give the first or second hit, or quits in answer of the third exchange, the king shall drink to Hamlet's better breath. And in that cup an union shall he throw, richer than that which four successive kings in Denmark's crown have worn. Come, begin, and you the judges bear a wary eye. Come, sir. Come, my lord. One! No! Judgment! A hit, sir, a very palpable hit. Well, again. Stay, and give me drink. Hamlet, this pearl is thine. Here's to thy health. Give him the cup. I'll put it in a smoke box. Sit it by away. Come! Uh, uh, Hamlet, what say you? A touch. A touch I do keep face. Here, Hamlet, take thy napkin, wipe thy brows. The queen carouses to thy fortune, Give Hamlet. Madam. Do not drink, Gertrude. I will, my lord. I pray you pardon me. Tis the poison cup which is too late. I do not drink it, madam, by and by. Come, let me wipe thy face. My lord, I have to know. I do not think it. It is almost against my conscience. Come, for the thud. Well, you have to issue but dally. A pretty past of your best violence. I am a few to make a motion of me. So you see? Come on! <laughs> <laughs> you are slain. No medicine in the world can do thee good. In thee there is but half an hour of life. The treacherous instrument is in thy hands, unbated and envenomed. The foul practice turned itself on me. Oh Lord, here I lie, never to rise again. The mother's poisoned. I can no more. The king, the king's to blame. The point is venom too. Defend him to thy work. Treason! Treason! Oh, yet defend me, friend. I am but hurt. Here, thou incestuous, murderous damn the Dane, think this potion. Is thy union here? Follow my mother. He's justly served. It's a poison tempered by himself. Exchange forgiveness with me, noble Hamlet. Mine and my father's deaths fall not upon thee, nor thine on me. Have I made thee free of it? I follow thee. I'm dead for issue. Wretched queen of Jew. You! That look pale and tremble at this chance. That there but mutes our audience to the side tonight, but time as this fell sergeant death is strict in his arrest, I can tell you. But let it be. Horatio, I am dead. Thou livest. Remember me and my cause alike to the unsatisfied. Never believe it. I'm more an ancient Roman than a Dane. There's yet some liquor left. Is there not a man? Give me the cup, let go my head and I'll have it. A good Horatio. What a wounded name thinks standing thus unknown shall live behind me. If thou didst ever hold me in thy heart, I've sent thee from felicity a while, and in this harsh world, draw thy breath in pain to tell my story. What warlike noise is this? Tis Fortinbras, come with conquest from Poland. This warlike volley. 
I die, Horatio. The potent poison cried or crows my spirit. I cannot live to hear the news from England, but I do prophesy the election lights in Fortinbras. He hath my dying voice. So tell him of the currents more and less which I've solicited. The rest is silence. 